I don't even know what I'm going to say. All my tools and my tool that carries my tools is in the shop. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to show you exactly how we scripted this entire thing. They were driving by leaving, and that's when he turned. I'll tell you what, we're going to zoom in and leave him more. That's when he turned and said something to Wes and them. I uh, already went through all the... <laughs> <laughs> So what's up everybody? Yes, the truck is in the shop and uh, I basically had to unload everything there, drive it up there, ride my little bike back and they can't even work on it until Thursday. So, well, looks like we got a lot of stuff to do around here. But one of the first things we're going to do is going to review some footage. I tell you what, we have some footage to review and boy, old do we have some footage to review. A couple types of different footages. Well, some, what do you call it? Wildlife footage. And the other footage might be wildlife too, I'm not sure. But anyway, oh, sorry. Let's get in and look at that footage. This is gonna be my attempt at to making a video without getting sweaty. Well, that attempt already failed because I just did a first shot outside and it's super like, hot well, and I'm sweaty. Girl, watch out, I'm gonna get you. Anyway, um, before we get into this actually footage, this actual this particular clip right here, I can actually see something moving. Well, I can't, it's actually still right now, but when I played the clip, and we're gonna review that, and we're going to go over the story as to what Wes said, what went down there at Tube Town, versus what the camera says. I'm pretty sure it both says the same thing. Now, this right, is where it starts getting to get exciting because ah, you first all gonna know, watch these wildlife clips. Debbie Check it out, like so much fun. Them. And uh, well, she's like, this is my orange old. hat patrols the property. It's ridiculous. What's going on there? This is where she's like, so I'm in this you video, you'll see orange cat walking by the two baby deer above him. That one right there is like stomping at him. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's Roscoe with the deer. Nobody's looking. Nobody's looking. Never mind me. Never mind me. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting on this all day, Willis. Now, this is a wild one. This deer looks really skinny. Uh, a lot more skinnier than what I was anticipating, but whoa! What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Now I got the vultures. He's gonna need some water. It's all good. There's a the raven. What's up? He's like, what's up? Here you got the squirrel and the dove. Going for some nuts, and then there's orange cat. He's like, I'm gone. A little nighttime feeding action with some of the other deer. And of course, there's the orange cat again. Now a little bit is like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it too. What it is, they're trying to get birds on the bird bath. Whether it's day or whether it's night, I bring all my might because I'm the orange cat. Like I said, come day or come night, I'm the orange cat. That was like, you could chase me off, but I'm coming back. This is where she's like, I thought I told you. I told you once before you're cruising for a bruise and you keep coming to my honey hole. You better watch it. Now I was like, can we all just get along? Willis puts out enough corn for all of us. 
Now, these are some shots from the other trail cam that's out in the back of the driveway. Get some babies and actually got a big buck coming up soon. There he is right there. Looks, I think it's that same six-pointer. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a six-pointer. There's another one of them babies. Still ain't named them yet, but eventually. So if you're wondering how I know it's Debbie, if you look at her top of her right shoulder there, there's some identifying markers right there. Then she has some on her back left leg. But, um, yep, yeah, look at them little cute little babies. So as you can see, they're all back and forth, back and forth throughout the entire day. She takes them to different places and brings them back. And uh, it's off, awesome. Blah, blah. It's a lot of fun to watch them. Now, this is the other mama with the babies. You can tell when she comes around, she's a lot more skittish. Obviously, it's nighttime right now, but if you'll see in a second, you'll see the other babies up in the top of the screen. So that was a lot of fun. Check out online. There's a lot more clips than just that. I just kind of went through and grabbed some for everybody there. But jumping on to the incident. And you all know what incident we're talking about. Well, I, I went ahead and downloaded the footage on the computer so I could show you all. And uh, I want to show you exactly what happened. You guys are going to see it for yourself. I'm sorry it's a little bit hazy and grainy because it's going. I'm just filming a computer. But I'll do the best that I can and try to explain the best that I can and the best of my knowledge. So... Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Ah! I need my truck. Whoa. That made me dizzy. Okay. Now that I got my head to stop spinning, I go ahead and get back to this. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to show you exactly how we scripted this entire thing. The complete entire episode. When we started writing it, well... I guess we should write the new one. Here is what's going down. Keep in mind, it's going to be a little grainy, a little hazy a little bit, but um, you're gonna, you'll be able to see exactly what happened. So let's turn it around. This is going to be the first clip right here. I need to put my glasses on so I can see. Let's zoom you in a little bit. So once again, this is the first clip. Once they pulled up, you can see Wes. He just got out of the car, and he's about to let Jason out. And he'll, he'll, here's clip number one. Remember, this is all we, we wrote this ahead of time. We, we're making sure that we added the rain, too. All right. That was that was the first clip. Here, watch it again. We just go back to see. Remember, he, he drove there to intentionally do... do I, 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 I don't know. All right. That's clip number one. All right, this is the second shot. Again, I, I apologize. It's a little bit hazy, but um, here we go. So they went to the mailbox, opened the mailbox. One pin fell out. She's reaching in there. It looks like Wes is grabbing the grabbing the guest book. Right, watch again. This whole time, Wes is planning on, uh, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's clip number two. All right, here's the third clip. Now, if you went and watched Wes's shorts, you'll see, obviously, he's filming and he's recording this as well. Uh, about the experience getting to Tube Town. So they are getting back in the car because it's raining. Now be sure to go over to Family Adventures with Wes and see them signing the guest book. Once again, we're going to play it again for you so you, everybody can watch it. Watch it in real time. Let Jason in the car and he gets in the car. Now they're signing the guest book. Okay, in this clip, it looks like the rain's slowing down. He's getting out to put the book back. She's getting back out. Obviously, it looks like a happy family coming down to see Tube Town. Once again, you can watch it again. Rain slowing down. They're getting out the car, putting the guest book back. She's making sure the door's shut. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is where he found the red turtle. I don't, I'm not sure. But look, look she's happy. He's looking there for something. Okay, now in this shot, looks like they got done taking some pictures. Now they're going to walk out and they're going to take pictures of across the street, which is uh, totally legal. And they advertise their rescue. So 
Here, let's watch it again. Doesn't look like there's any ill will or ill intent at all. I mean, if there does, I'm you're just looking at things a whole different perspective. Now they're back. He went and took a picture. Now Becca reason take a few more pictures. I guess he's, you know, when we wrote this script, I, I was I, I was telling him, you know, you need to walk around a lot. Well, I hope you're not getting bored just yet because there's more footage to come and you will be able to see was it wild, maybe wildlife. I don't know what it is, but you're going to be able to see something that is very interesting. It all adds up how we wrote this entire script. <laughs> Get back to it. Here goes the next clip. It just got back. They're going to the car, trying to get back in the car. And yeah, looks like they're taking off. Let's see if I can play it again for you. Let me shake you up so you can focus back in. Just got back, trying to unlock the door. It's not opening. Chase is like, come on, Dad. I'm getting all wet. Looks like the rain's picking up a little bit more. All right, there's that one. Shuts the door. Get in the car. Time to go. So that's where we're at so far with this. Um, did anybody on there, any, leave a comment. Did anybody see anything like that was all planned? Or did that just look like, hey, we want to go see Tube Town and uh, get some pictures and have a little bit of fun? Hold on, I got that tweet out. So it's this next shot that really is where it gets really, really interesting because now you're going to actually see the neighbor on camera and having an interaction with Wes. Now, this camera, keep in mind, when motion goes by, it activates like maybe a second or two later, right? So if people are driving by at a normal, high, uh, normal speed, 25 miles an hour, by the time they go from this side of the frame to the other side of the frame, they're already... They've already, act, uh, already went through all the, 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 the they've already went through the frame, so they're only at the tail end of the frame. And so when I start this frame, you're going to see the back of the car and then it go out. You could tell that they were driving by, going, leaving to go back home, not slowing down, not trying to taunt or antagonize the neighbors. Now I'm going to show you this one part. And we're going to zoom in on it, and you're going to see where the neighbor turns around, and from from what Wes said yelled at him, and that's when Wes had stopped and asked him. He turned back around, started saying something else. Then he turned back around and looked right at the camera. And right then, well, I tell you what, let's just watch it. No, Twiggy didn't want to go out. She wants to eat right now. That's what, that's the problem because Julie's off with the girls and um, cat's feeding time is right about now. So probably going to hear Twiggy a lot more until Julie gets home. Huh, Twiggy? Hmm. Okay, here's the clip. You see the end of the car right there? When I start the clip, you'll see it zoom out the picture. Then keep your eyes peeled right in this area. There's a tree right here. Keep your eyes peeled right there. And we're going to dissect this a little bit. Ready? Oh, there it goes. Pew. So obviously they were driving by. Okay, you've seen that, right? So we are going to zoom in on it, and we're going to dissect what Wes had said about... Um, how he hollers something, and then Wes had stopped. It's like, what'd you say or whatever? And then, uh, and Wes, obviously, it's all going to be in the police report. But then uh, he obviously kept having some sort of uh, communication and then turned and looked directly at the camera. And then after he looks at the camera, the next shot goes. Well, by this time, he's done walk back up in between the campers, which is where Wes said that, if I'm not mistaken, um, he's close to the campers where he said to where he's, Pulled out the gun. So, obviously, with the fence there, you can't see it. He obviously knew the camera was filming. And that's probably why he looked directly at it, to make sure whenever he got out of sight of the camera, he could do what he did. So, let's zoom in and watch that. Yep, so he's still meowing. Once again, there's the car. I'm going to hit play and watch what happens. Turns around. Some, something's being said. Turns back around, turns around again, then turns and looks directly at the camera. If you watch the video, they were driving by leaving, and that's when he turned. I'll tell you what, we're going to zoom in and leave him more. That's when he turned and said something to Wes and them. So 
See? Turns. Something's going on. Turns back around. Turns around again. And then turns and looks directly at the camera. We're going to pause it when he looks directly at the camera. There it goes. There's the interaction. There's something's going down. So again, I don't know what was said, but that's exactly what happened. And then evidently, once he got further back, that's when um, the incident happened. Here, we'll watch it again. See how I spun around quickly? Because obviously the car wasn't going very... It wasn't. I mean, it wasn't like creeping. and They weren't like antagonized or anything like people think. So, there. You want to start it over and watch it again? Let's go ahead and do it. So they drove by. He turned, yelled something. Turns back, turns and looks. Oh, we're going to pause it right there. Looking directly at the camera right there. Because he knows what he's about to do, and he don't want to be seen. So for all you well, people out there to come up with these funny allegations and these, these things that we do uh, to try and grab views, I don't know how much more of a real interaction I can show you that is what happened and what was explained and what was said and what was reported. Uh, Wes explained it all in my video. He explained it all to the police. And therefore... That right there shows exactly what happened. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the incident with the um, the bang stick. But again, as you've seen there, for yourself watching it, he turned, yelled something. You can't hear it. But again, this is Wes's testimony. And obviously, there was, a, there was some kind of interaction going on there. Then he looked at the camera. Then he walked back behind the thing. Plug in the microphone, Willis. Plug in the microphone so you ain't got to reshoot the clip. I forgot to plug the microphone in, and you couldn't hear as good. I mean, you can still hear it good, but I didn't want everybody to be like, oh, no, what happened to the sound? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, there you go, everybody out there. For all the naysayers, all the people who thought, you know, all the things you thought, there, there, there it was. You just seen it. Obviously, you didn't see, like I said, the actual incident, but... Yeah, I'm, you pe some of you people and the things you think are very, very entertaining. You guys should maybe start writing some books yourself. Or you can send us some more scripts that we can uh, do. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that um, you guys think we all write this, so you might as well send us some ideas. Anyways, I just want to say, Jacelyn and Wes are back home. They are safe and sound. They actually swung by last night to say bye. I actually gave her a, a Tube Town prize pack, and I told her she couldn't open it till they got home or till they got you know down the road or whatever. And I wanted to make a video of it. So I'm excited to see that. But she actually left me this. A new keychain is going to go on my Tube Town bracelet. Or Tube Town keychain. And it says BFF. So uh, I got that. And I got two little necklace charms. They're like little bullets, but they're marble glass things. So I'm not sure if y'all can see them. I can't really see them either because I ain't got, got my glasses on. But once again, I, I just, I am baffled by some of the, the, the crazy thoughts that people come up with. You know, as you've seen in the video, I, I, I have never known Wes. I, I never would have known him. Didn't know him then. Never knew about them coming down. Obviously, they just showed exactly what they did. They came down. They visited Tube Town. They go to leave. And then they were interfered with. So whatever you guys say, keep saying it. Keep sending us ideas for scripts. That way we can keep writing them. And we can keep making our real true viewers laugh and smile and have a good time. If you ain't following Wes yet, go follow him. It's Family Adventures with Wes. I got it pinned in one of my comments and in the description somewhere. And I'll probably forget to put it in this video. But anyway, definitely go subscribe to them and have some fun with them. But I want to say once again to all my viewers, thank you so much for, for being on this journey with me and now supporting Wes and where they're going with their journey and their lives and just everybody just being happy. And for all you haters out there, just keep on hating because the haters are going to hate and the lovers are going to love. So I just... I kicked you with my foot down there. Stop it, Travis. Stop it. Stop it. Oh!